Hallelujah. You feel better because you make that connection. But if you don't have nothing to connect to, society will bring you a drug, or it'll bring you a loose woman, or it'll bring you some alcoholic beverages, or maybe some self-destructive behavior. But if you got God, you don't have to do those kind of things. You can connect to him and realize what it is that you need to do. Right. And you're man it up. That's right. God just wants us to know a couple things, just a couple things, that if we would just man up, that he has everything that we need. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom suffering violence. And the violent take of it by force. We likewise, we ought to pray as if we're taking it back. Everything that the devil has stolen wasn't his. He stole it. You can take it back. And when you take it back, you ought to charge an interest. Yes. You don't take nothing from you and just get away with it. It belongs to you. Bring charges up against them. Make them pay. Restitution. He owe you. And with God on your side, he'll pay you. The Bible says that everything that he stole from you, he will return it back to sevenfold. Lord, I received that. Let the devil just take that. We need a man up. Tired of seeing man down. Getting turned around by every little thing, every little situation. People just steer you in every kind of direction. You can't even figure out where you're going to go because you worry about where everybody else is going. And you got a blind lead, the blind fall in the ditch. Now everything all messed up. Where God has a direction and a plan and a purpose for your life. But you got to man up. It's responsibility with it. A lot of reasons a lot of brothers fall is because ain't nobody trying to help them. Come on, bro. You can do better than that. Hallelujah. Don't worry about that, man. Just do you. God got something for you. Do you. That's the kind of things we need to tell each other. You know, you need to tell each other, look, God is on your side, man. You can make it. You ain't got to sink to that level. Don't even make That's not even worth it. You need to man up. And this is why sometimes we need to come aside because men, they get silly. Men get silly. Do things that we really shouldn't do. Get involved in things we really shouldn't get involved with. Then when the consequences come, we act like, oh man, well, wasn't that much wrong that I did? But wrong and wrong. And it brings on consequences that are unpleasant. Amen. But if you just did right, you don't have to worry about that. And you just man up. God wants us to know that there is power given to his believers. If you man up, you can really pray for somebody who's sick and they get healed. You can pray for an alcoholic father. And if you really man up and you get right with God, you can pray for an alcoholic father. And the taste can come out of his mouth. But, but if you if you cowering over in the corner not doing what you supposed to do, then your pop down, his man down, and ain't nobody helping him. He don't have no backup. But if we were to man up, start being backups for our brothers, backups for our families, backups for our environments, if we just start doing something ourselves instead of looking for somebody else, Maybe you just do it, somebody look at you and start doing their part. Instead of looking for everybody else to do something all the time, you do what you need to do. Let it man up. Be a man. That's what a man is all about. Doing what God would have to do. God is your head. He's your covering. He's your leader. He's your God. And he's your empowerer. And if you man up, he can do just that. Lord. He can do just that. You want money? The silver is his, the gold is his, the cattle on a thousand hills is his, the earth is his, and the fullness thereof. You can have it if he can trust you with it. You just got to man up. It's God's desire for us to be in a place where we will receive the things of God. But, you know, we have power to get things on our own. And that's the way we choose most of the time. 
But it's not necessarily what God has for us. But if we would allow God to lead us and guide us and steer us in the directions that he wants us to go, we can have all these blessings without a hangover. Right. Without no, no bad consequences. All we did was man up and walk upright before God. Joel 2 and 25. He said, I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. God sends things among you to get your attention, to get you in the right place. It is not nothing unusual. He did it in the days of Israel. When they start getting beside themselves, he let a king Nebuchadnezzar come and start taking over everything because if he beat you up enough, you'll pray because you'll be in a situation that can't nobody help you but God, so you have to pray. Right. But the thing is, he will restore the years. Nobody else can do that. You can't do it. Money can't do it. Nobody else can restore years to you but God. If you're made up, you can live longer. Hezekiah was a, a, someone who can give you the testimony. He said, I went to God. He told me, get my house in order. And I realized that my Say, come. 
hallelujah. So if anything tonight, I just hope some brothers up in here is ready to man up. Ready to pray with abandonment. Just Lord, not my will, but your will be done. Don't care if nobody listening. Listen to my prayer if you want, but you better get your own prayer in. Because I'm going to get mine. Because I'm manning up. Hallelujah. Yeah, I'm going to pray them. Oh, where about my prayer? You better have your own